Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us for our seven day Pacific forecast. And we're tracking a lot of low pressure and a new tropical cyclone. Most of it is in the southern uh, hemisphere, as you can see on the map here. Now, this doesn't show you so much the areas of low pressure, but there is a weak area here, another one near Fiji, and a newly forming one in the Coral Sea. And it's this one that may well turn into a tropical cyclone. The uh, monsoon rain is sort of stuck in this area here where you see the windy weather and the, uh, and the thunderstorms. And then you've got this big low down here towards New Zealand. And between that low and high pressure out here in the Tasman, places like Norfolk Island, which is a bit hard to see, have a slightly cooler southerly. And that goes all the way up to New Caledonia and Vanuatu and even a little bit of Fiji. So you just might notice that humidity is down just a tiny bit at the moment for some of those areas. Maybe not so much Fiji, though, here on Wednesday. The monsoon rain drops down, so we've got that heavy rain sitting around many places, including Tonga, and brushing parts of Niue, although if you're in Samoa, it's looking pretty good there at the moment. But you will notice a theme of low pressure as I go through the maps over the uh, coming days, and already this low in the, in the Coral Sea area is the next one to keep an eye on following the cyclone that we saw Kiralee last week, which came into Townsville. And of course, that follows on from Jasper last month in December. So are we looking at a um, another cyclone? Well, yes, we are, I think. So that means we'll have one cyclone each month, January, December, and potentially February here, affecting the Queensland area. But also you can see other zones of low pressure on the map here. And with the monsoon rain stuck in this area, that's the reason why Fiji and Tonga are getting that rain and the, the clouds are building up and around. They're closing in on places like Samoa and uh, Niue. So by the time we get to Friday, Samoa, Niue uh, are getting some wet weather now, and low pressure is stuck around Tonga, so you've got a few thunderstorms in the mix here. Now, as that low drifts a little further eastwards, the southerly comes in here to Suva and Nandi, so Fiji, at least in the, the main island, starting to notice just a little drop again in that humidity and hopefully a bit more in the way of uh, clearer skies coming through. But you can see that low in the Coral Sea gradually deepening. There's a little bit of high pressure coming in here around Norfolk Island. So that's the reason why that Coral Sea low isn't just quickly dropping southwards down towards the Tasman. So as we go into next weekend, very little change over here. The low is still stuck. On the eastern side, we've got this new low that's kind of pushing into the Cook Islands area. And further to the east, I didn't mention you before, Tahiti got a pretty good week coming up, mostly dry weather here for Tahiti. So as we go through to Sunday, it stays dry over in French Polynesia. Around the Cook Islands, this large area of low pressure sort of now starting to engulf a larger uh, part of the region. That drives in a southeaster for Tonga, a few showers coming in for you. Up in Samoa, that southerly change will start to push a bit of that wet weather further northwards. And Fiji again, mostly in the dry, just the usual afternoon showers that bubble up. But this is the main feature, um, at least around the international dateline. And then obviously, out here in the Coral Sea, that's the one to keep an eye on. This is the one that may well become a tropical cyclone. Now, when it becomes one, who knows? Cyclone Kiralee last week in a very similar, similar position with high pressure down here, controlled everything. And so it took about three days longer than most of us expected for that cyclone to be named. And then, it, and then it finally happened. So this one could be in a similar place. It might be named at the weekend or it might take until next week as, uh, as we continue to watch it. But it does look as though by Tuesday of next week, one week from now, it might be sliding back over towards Mackay, Rockhampton, maybe going further south than we saw Kiralee go, but it's too early to lock in. So if you're an Australian viewer, please look out for our seven-day Australian update coming out this coming Thursday. So that is the forecast. Let's go to the Northern Hemisphere, see what's going on there. Here is Hawaii. Uh, a lot of high pressure nearby. So actually in Honolulu itself, a few passing showers, nothing too serious up there. Mostly stormy where it should be around the Aleutian Islands and coming into the northwestern corner of North America and also around Japan. The odd storm coming out there from the mainland, that's the reason why you're getting a mixture of hot and cold air flows coming through there. And finally, to end with the seven day rain format to make sense of everything I just showed you and to keep it simple, the area you want to look for is the blue surrounded by purple. That's this area here. So when you see the red, purple, and the dark blues, that is this line right here. You can ignore the pale 
the pale blue and the greens at the very bottom end of the scale. So if you're looking down here in southern parts of Australia, not to do with the Pacific, but just to give you an idea, stretching out towards New Zealand, that's the dry area. The heavy rain from that possible cyclone in here, the tracking going into Australia not locked in on this map. This is only up till next Tuesday while it's still out at sea. And then you can see that monsoon rain all along here. So um, Samoa seems to be a little bit outside of it and certainly Honolulu, well away from the heaviest of the rain at the moment. And that is all from me for the next seven days around the Pacific. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to keep up to date with our videos on YouTube at Weather Watch TV. We will see you uh, two weeks from now because next Tuesday in New Zealand, we have our Waitangi Day, so we won't have a video next week for the Pacific, but we will have our Australia video back this Thursday and again next Thursday. That's all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow, Wednesday, with our next New Zealand update.